Hello everybody, what's going on? Igers here back again. Today I would like to introduce a very elegant way how to remove a host object from Zabbix in out, uh, like in a very automated way. And uh, for, for this uh, project uh, I will advertise the functionality from Zabbix 5.4 or uh, you need to have like 6.0 LTS at the bare minimum and then we can advance and create a very fancy and elegant solution. So what we are looking here it is um, like 5.4 Zabbix and uh, I'm having a custom script under the administration scripts and then uh, if we target to create solution uh, which will delete the host automatically, like without touching the interface, then uh, we will create the script for the scope uh, action. So action is for automated way. And uh, if you fancy to delete host manually from the problems page, that's also possible. Then we need to create another script, which will really target the scope uh, event action. So when we browse the problems page, then we can uh, like manually delete it. So what's inside this script? Uh, we will, let's open this guy. So it's it's a JavaScript which consists with like 20 lines and uh, it's practically are utilizing the classic API method. Like this is a classic uh, Zabbix API, which is utilizing the host.delete procedure to really uh, delete the object. And uh, like this solution is elegant because all the arguments are outside from the script, like this script, you can use it uh, with copy and paste, like not even changing a thing. And then like it's uh, it has these parameters which uh, are uh, configured in a very beautiful way. So the script will actually use uh, Zabbix URL, uh, which is URL from uh, for the front end, like this is my front end address. Uh, I will show that in a moment. And by the way, this naming system of the macro, this is very standard naming system. If we browse like some media types uh, from the stock installation for the, for example, uh, service now, let's open uh, uh, Jira service desk, for example, that's a a classical webhook and uh, okay uh, this looks like a wrong example let's have like service now click and if we look like on the stock media type and uh, uh, where is the URL uh, again it's not correct for me uh, service um, I don't know Telegram, Microsoft Teams, and uh, what you can see, like this Microsoft Teams media type is using zabbix.url. So this, it's very useful for you to configure this macro, like exactly this macro for the system. So if you want, they decide to use one of the official media types, then Zabbix company is using this macro for the URL. So right now I will open uh, my macro section in the global over here. And uh, like we can see, I am having this URL defined. Uh, if I look in the browser URL, we have like this guy. And in the macro, I have actually configured the same. So this script will use the macro which is defined in the global level. Uh, what next? So if we go back to script, uh, we have a token. We need a token to communicate with ABI, API like in, a, in some way. And uh, in the 5.4 version, in the 5.4 version, we have a very fancy method to define a token. And um, uh, for example, how to do that, uh, we have administration general, uh, we have this section API tokens, oh, let's open this in a new tab, and then we can create an API token, let's say for delete host, and uh, 
this uh, token must be attached to the user. Uh, I will uh, attach like API user, but uh, please create a very dedicated user if you like want to create this uh, thing in a massive scale. It's very nice to track if like uh, one of the procedures, the lead host is using a very specific user. It's very convenient for the audit log and uh, how uh, far the token should go. I will just set uh, like 10 years uh, on ward and uh, that's it. Add. And now we have the token. Uh, I to copy this token to the clipboard and um, I will go to the uh, global section again. Uh, here I have the tab and I can install the token uh, over here, uh, for example. Uh, paste. Uh, it's a bigger token. And uh, so now for this solution, we need the URL, the session token, and then the last thing is the host ID, which we target to delete. Okay, update. And uh, let's go back to the script. Uh, we have the URL, we have the session ID and host ID to delete. Uh, all right, let's have a lab to see how this is working. Uh, so for this lab, uh, what I will do is I will create a a new host object, configuration hosts, uh, create a host. The name will be test, uh, test nine and uh, groups, Linux servers. Okay, uh, interface is agent and I will uh, install like agent interface, uh, which does not exist. So I will have the problem uh, quite instantly. Uh, okay, add. And now I have host, I will create one metric, which will start to collect instantly. Uh, this will use the metric from the simple check and like ICM ping, it will try to ping this IP address 10, 10, 10, 10. And uh, like we will do that every one second. And okay, uh, I will hit enter to create this item. Now uh, triggers, create trigger. Uh, add trigger and select this single item. Uh, it will kick in when the when the metric is zero, uh, so it's not reachable. The host is down. Insert and okay, uh, host is down. And I like to click this checkbox all the time. Allow manual close. If something goes wrong, then we can like close the event manually. Okay, add. So the host is uh, ready, the uh, data collection is ready, and the trigger is there. Uh, I will also create the action to invoke this script automatically. So actions, trigger actions, and then like delete host if down. Um, and uh, add, I will target this new host, test nine, okay. Add, and uh, operations and uh, like in, in the practice, this most likely will be a host group, like you, you really want to target, but for this lab, I'm targeting a very specific host. And operations, and here comes the thing. We don't want to delete the host immediately. We want to delete it later, after one day, or after three days, or after a week. And here we can manipulate, uh, and the mo manipulation happens based on the default operation step duration. So we have one hour in the production, we will install here like one day. But for me, for the lab, I will set like one minute is the duration for the step. And now add, and I will uh, explicitly tell, like I want to have a step number two, not the first, but uh, the step number two, which will do delete host object via automated action. So this is the webhook I, I made a minute ago, and now I'm creating this checkbox, uh, current host. And when I click add, uh, we will see like how it works. Like we have the default operation and then it will actually try to delete the host only when the problem is uh, in the problem state uh, for one minute. Okay, add. Uh, let's have a look if that host has started to collecting data. Monitoring hosts. 
and we have that test nine. Uh, we have the dedicated but button, uh, latest data. So no data collection so far. Uh, I have uh, here like uh, a way to force the cache of the central server. Uh, I have a hot button um, uh, created on the this uh, like host object, but uh, we can force the data collection by executing an SSH uh, command. This one uh, Zabbix underscore server minus capital R config cache reload. But uh, I have a button from the front end. So now the cache is reloaded, and after one second, the data collection will start per uh, test nine. Uh, let's check it out. And yeah, uh, last value is there, zero. Uh, if we click on the host object and go to the problems page, uh, we can see like, yeah, uh, we have this trigger in the problem state, duration 50 seconds. If I hit uh, apply, uh, then yeah, the duration goes on and no action has been executed so far. Uh, and based on our definition, the action should kick in after one minute when this guy is, a, is, is in the problem state. And uh, so let's wait these 20 seconds. Uh, and uh, hopefully someone will delete this host object. Apply. So seven, four, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm hitting apply. Okay, apply, apply. Nothing is uh, happening. I'm hitting apply again and uh, host disappeared. So someone did erase this host. And if we check the audit log uh, from the reports, we have the audit log. We can see like there is some user which is named API, which did uh, like do some delete operation and which deleted the host uh, with the description uh, like test nine. Yeah, so this is how it works with the automated way uh, to go back to the manual thing. Uh, so the other action is uh, uh, here. Uh, so this one is dedicated for the global uh, thing uh, when we want to delete in a in a uh, global like in an automated way and then we have a manual event action uh, which we can click on the event so um, it, it's using the very same script like all the arguments are same and uh, what we are having here is um, uh, yeah let, let's 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 do the full lab again uh, hosts and uh, create host and uh, test seven and Linux servers, click, click, uh, agent. The interface will be 10, 10, 10, 10. And um, add, and now I will create the data collector item, create item and uh, simple check. And we will do the ping, like ping itself. Uh, here, here, every one second. Okay, and the trigger will kick in. Uh, the trigger will kick in uh, like instantly when the value is zero. Here, yes, agent offline and uh, click. So this action will be not targeted anymore because uh, like if I go to my previous action uh, here, uh, trigger actions, uh, delete host like because i removed the host it we, it we are not matching any conditions anymore so now i'm showing the how to delete host manually and um, i will reload the cache again so that a data collection starts to work instantly let's click over here config cache reload and now one second later if we check the latest data uh, reload uh, we see the value is zero and the problem should be there by now. Let's click on the object, go to the problems page and we see uh, the, uh, the problem is there. So this other action, uh, let's uh, open all, let's close the tabs. Uh, we have two scripts. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, we have two scripts for the automated thing and for the manual event action. And in the problems page, we have the problem. And if we want to remove it manually, we have to click on the problem title. 
like the old school way, what was in the Zabbix for the long time is uh, all the actions is on the uh, host object over here, but that's not what, what we want to do. We have to click on the event title here, and we have now uh, delete host object via problems page. That's the name of the action if we go here, uh, delete host object via problems page. And uh, now, uh, is it working? I'm clicking on the event, uh, clicking this menu. Something happens. Uh, there is also like a verbose log. If we click here, you can see like what the API method reported uh, back. And it, it, it reports usually what kind of host was deleted. Like this was the host ID. Okay, okay. And if I hit the refresh, like the host is gone again and someone it someone deleted that and if we check the audit log again audit log is here uh, we can see like some uh, admin user like that's my user uh, which did execute the script manually and deleted uh, that uh, sorry uh, e what i was talking about like this um, yeah the actually like we see the man, the admin did execute the script and the script is actually based on the API user. So we have two lines for the evidence, like which guy and, and how the uh, deleting uh, was actually happening underneath the hood. Uh, all right, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you find it useful. If you find it useful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, goodbye for now.